Amolo Odinga to make his remarks. Thank you, Your Excellency, William Samoy Ruto, the President and also the Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Republic of Kenya. Mama Eileen Katambi, Lona and Joel Omondi Ogola. All protocols observed distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. We have come on a very tragic occasion to say farewell to one of the most illustrious sons of this country. We are paying farewell to a four-star general who has died not in the field of combat but through a tragic aircraft accident. The Nogola, as has already been said by those who have spoken before, exemplified what you can call a true national nationalist. By his own conduct, he showed that he loved his country and he was prepared to serve and die on behalf of his country. We take comfort in listening to his son talk about him. And when I saw Joel talk there, I said, this is a case of the general is dead. Long live the general. He has shown how simple his father was, and I know him because he's a personal friend. I know him as a man of very few words, an accomplished golfer, but a man also who knows his responsibilities to the society. He has served, he has mentored, he has taught very many of our young people. He believed truly in the Kenyan dream, which is coined in our national anthem. God bless this land of ours. Justice be our shield and defender. We read well in unity, peace and liberty, plenty be found within our borders. Justice can only be a shield and defender if there is democracy. Then may we live in unity and love each other. No discrimination on the basis of gender, ethnicity, race, or religion. We unite all the Kenyan people, the, all the 46 tribes of Kenya. Give them equal opportunity in terms of education, in terms of employment, don't discriminate against your fellow Kenyan because he does not come from your tribe. And that is what Ogola believed in. And that is what he showed. And that is how he even worked wherever he worked. It is, Your Excellency, tragic that we are studying today. But he has also shown, just as in life, in death, he also said he wants a simple burial and be buried as quickly as possible. This is in line with the traditions of our own African people. Commercializing burials today is not African, it's an African. People used to be buried either the same day or the following day when they die. Burial of funeral is not a, 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 an enterprise as what has come today. So he said he wants to be buried the way it is, without a coffin, soil back to the soil, a great Kenyan uh, patriot. Your Excellency, I want to conclude 
by saying that because of the manner in which Ogola died, a lot of rumors are flying around all over. He wants these rumors to be put to rest. And this can only happen if there's a thorough investigation to tell us the cost of the death, how that plane came down. But also, Your Excellency, this is also time to take a look at our equipment and our military. Because you have seen a number of these accidents over the last five to ten years. There's been so many of these crashes. We want to put this to an end so that we can save lives of our people. Finally, as we lay the goal of tomorrow to, to, to rest, I want us to remove the stigma, Your Excellency. Because I knew this man very well. General Gola would never have contemplated or thought about going to bombers of Kenya to force Mr. Chibukati to alter the results of last general elections. So if you want this to be removed, I will lay him to rest. Rest in peace, our brother and my uncle, General Thank you. Your Excellency, again under your guidance and permission, allow me to invite the Prime Cabinet Secretary, Honorable Musali Mudavadi, to make his remarks, invite the Deputy President, and the Deputy President invite you as the President and the Commander-in-Chief of Kenya Defense Forces. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, Dr. William Samoy Ruto, the First Lady, Mama Rachel Ruto, Deputy President, Honorable Rigathe Gachagua and Mama Dorcas, Mama Elaine, Ogola, and your entire family, my colleagues, and all dignitaries, and friends, and Kenyans here in this beautiful ground and also watching from various quarters through the media. Your Excellency, mine will be very brief. First, with your permission, let me acknowledge the presence of several heads of missions who have joined us here today to bid farewell to General Ogola. I have a list of... Just mention their names, and I'll request that as I mention your name, you can be upstanding. First, 